BMW's 5 Series has long been the go-to choice for someone seeking a sporty flavor out of a mid-sized luxury sedan, especially with the early generations of the 5 Series. In recent years, however, the 5 Series has gone a little on the softer side, trying to broaden its appeal among consumers. This trend continues with the redesigned 5 Series, while adding in many more standard and optional features and new technology. So let's go ahead and check out and take a closer look at this all new redesigned 2017 BMW 5 Series. Now the first thing you'll notice about the new 5 Series here is how evolutionary it is in terms of its styling. In fact, it may be a little hard to tell the difference between the last generation 5 Series and this one we have here. And it does look very similar on the front end with its bigger brother, the 7 Series. I mean, they look quite alike. It's really hard to tell the difference when you look at both of the front ends of the vehicle if you put them side by side. Now. Our 5 Series we have here also does have the M Sports package, which gives you some nice exterior and interior styling details, such as these 19 inch light alloy wheels. You also do have the M Sports suspension too, but overall it's a pretty good looking vehicle, fairly handsome yet athletic. I mean, BMW didn't want to take too many risks in terms of its styling here, obviously. You also do have the twin Kinney grille design, which is a classic styling trait for the BMW brand. Now, the new 5 Series here also ups its technology game, and you'll find new features such as the gesture control. You also do have the um, remote uh, self-parking function that you can operate from outside the vehicle you can actually park this vehicle outside of the vehicle which is pretty cool and you'll find that on the 7 series too and you also find many more standard features such as led adaptive headlights you also find led daytime running lights and adaptive cruise control standard but what's not standard is blind spot detection which is pretty interesting you do have your key fob design right here you'll find your lock unlock to release your trunk and then your panic alarm now this color of the 5 Series is known as the Dark Graphite Metallic. Pretty good looking color here and you will find smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. Now what's also pretty interesting is that a full on leather interior isn't standard on the 5 Series either. But you will find a ivory Napa leather interior on our 5 Series which is beautiful. You also do have a power driver seat with power recline and power lumbar, as well as a power thigh extension for those long road trips. And you also do have power adjustable side bolsters. All right, now stepping on inside of the 5 Series. Now, just like with the exterior styling, the interior styling is certainly very evolutionary which is not necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, BMW didn't want to risk it too much, but you will find a new iDrive interface that features gesture control now. And you'll find new climate controls, all that good stuff. But the interior also looks very similar uh, to the new 7 Series, which is not a bad thing. But I do think that the Mercedes-Benz E-Class's interior is certainly more opulent and luxurious than the 5 Series. But this is a decent interior. Nothing wrong with it. Now you do have push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And with our 540i model, we do have a three liter turbocharged six cylinder engine that you're hearing there. You do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel and we do have an M Sport steering wheel. Of course that comes with the M Sports package. Coming to your transmission, we have an eight speed automatic and to go for drive, just go down like this, up for reverse. And when you put the vehicle into reverse, that'll tilt down the mirrors. It'll also display your surround view monitor. You do have your rear view camera with your guidance lines and trajectory, and you have your top down view. It's also pretty cool is that you could change settings for the cameras, including the brightness contrast. You can turn the parking aid lines on or off. And if you wanna go into car wash mode, that's pretty cool too. And push for park pretty standard stuff there from BMW and if you want to shift the vehicle manually you could do it via the paddle shifters and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights hazards let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the 5 series all windows are fully automatic 
go and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. You have to release this two times. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. We do have blind spot detection here. Now this new 5 Series generation is also codenamed G30. Up front here you'll find LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, front parking sensors, LED fog lights, LED turn signal indicators, as well as a front camera too. Now on the last generation 5 Series you can actually go for a V8 engine, but with our 540i model, this 3 liter turbocharged 6 cylinder engine takes the place of that V8. You're looking at 335 horsepower and 332 pound feet of torque, with EPA estimates being an excellent 20 in the city and 30 on the highway. Now you can go for real wheel drive or you can go for all wheel drive. And this is the upgraded powertrain that you get on the 5 Series. Your base powertrain is going to be a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. BMW has yet to announce a hybrid variant for the, this generation 5 Series. But overall you will find that this powertrain does make a pretty good amount of power with pretty good fuel efficiency numbers. Competitors of the 5 Series, you have the vehicles in the mid-size luxury sedan class. This includes the likes of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class, Audi A6, Lexus GS, and the Cadillac CTS. You also do have cameras on the side mirrors. You also find LED taillights with LED turn signal indicators. And down below, dual exhaust tips with rear parking sensors. The final assembly point for this vehicle is in Germany. And their overall vehicle score from the government five star safety ratings it hasn't been rated yet. And EPA estimates, like I said, is 20 in the city and 30 on the highway. Total vehicle price is $71,735. And of course, you have all of your basic power necessities, including power windows, power mirrors. Your power door locks are located right here. And the mirrors do power fold, which is a nice little feature. And you have memory seat settings for two people. Interior quality in the 5 Series, of course, is exquisite and it's impeccably finished. You'll find rich, soft touch materials everywhere inside of this vehicle. You also find lots of stitching too and all soft touch on the door panels, of course. And we do have the Sensatec, Sensatec dashboard, which is wrapped in a faux leather, which is really nice. And you have stitching on all the dashboard, which is really cool. Overall, really nice looking interior and very impressive when it comes to its build quality and materials. Now coming to the steering wheel design, like I said, I love this steering wheel and it comes with the M Sports package, but I love it because it's very bulky and it gives you really nice grip in your hands. And it is also heated if you press on this button right here. And then we also do have your adaptive cruise control, steering wheel mounted audio controls, Bluetooth phone controls, all that good stuff. And the steering wheel also does power tilt and telescope with a pretty good range of adjustment. You also find the ambient lighting inside of this interior that wraps around the whole interior, which is cool. And you can see it right here, pretty nice. And you have your massage function for the seats, which do feature different levels. You could change it from one, two, or three, and then you can actually do upper body activation, whole body, your back massage, shoulder massage, lumbar, upper body exercise, whole body exercise. So it gives you a wide array of different uh, modes for the massage function, which is pretty cool. And you also find this on the passenger side, which is pretty cool too. Down here, you have dual cup holders, a little storage cubby. 
and a 12 volt power outlet. And then you'll also find your electronic parking brake with your automatic brake hold feature, your controls for the iDrive system, which I'll get to in just a minute. And then you can access your cameras at any time by pressing on this button. And then you have your parking sensors too. Coming to the center console, really disappointed with the center console storage, not a whole lot of it here. And you have your 12 volt power outlet as well as USB charging port. Auto dimming rear view mirror. LED map lights and your SOS safety connect as well as your sunroof. For $71,000 though, I do expect a panoramic sunroof. The Mercedes-Benz E-Class offers a panoramic sunroof. You have your glove box compartment, nice and damp, lined with felt too. The seats themselves are also really comfortable with our premium Napa leather. Very soft, especially with the headrest. I mean, I certainly would take a long road trip in this vehicle. These seats are, I mean, I feel like I'm about to fall asleep in them. Visibility is also really good in the 5 Series. And you'll find lots of glass area all around. Really easy to see out of the windshield. And when you get to rearward visibility, not really a huge challenge seeing out of the rear, which I do love. And many cars nowadays have sloping roof lines and sleek styling, which creates a problem for visibility, but not with the 5 Series here. Coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster, pretty good looking setup here. And it is a TFT instrument cluster. You will find your speedometer on the left, as well as your tachometer on the right. And then you also do have your coolant temperature on the right, and then your fuel gauge right there. It also gives you a speed, li speed limit sign down there in the lower left hand corner. It shows you your exterior temperature readout, your digital clock. It also show you what safety technologies are on or off on here too which is pretty cool and then you could set your distance for your adaptive cruise control it'll show you what distance it's set at on there dual zone automatic climate control here with pretty simple and easy to use controls you have your temperatures for your dials fan speed levels right here and then heated and ventilated front seats for the driver and the front passenger and your different zones Coming to the iDrive system and the main infotainment system here. Now, we've seen this head unit in the new 7 series, and I love this head unit because of its really good graphics and rendering. I mean, it's beautiful just to look at. And your controls are located down here, and the buttons surrounding it. It is also a touchscreen, which is nice, and BMWs didn't have that in the past with the iDrive system, but it's nice that they finally included that. Now, coming to your home screen, this is pretty much your home screen right here. The iDrive system also features gesture control, which actually you can turn up the volume and turn it down just by your hands, as you can see. And then you have your different audio sources, AM, FM, XM satellite radio, your CD player. You also do have screen mirroring, so you can actually display what's on your phone up onto the screen, love that feature. USB charging port too for different audio sources. And then your navigation system is, I love the navs on the um, iDrive systems here. I mean, really crisp and clear, beautiful to look at, great graphics and great rendering. And it gives you a Google Earth-like type view. And you have live traffic, shows you your points of interest. You can enter in your destination by voice or by this touchpad down here. Then you also do have your connected drive, which gives you your BMW assistance, BMW messages, weather, news, online search, wiki, local, Yelp, Flickr, your park now. You can manage your mobile devices too. Then your communication, which is like your phone. You can hook up your phone, Bluetooth phone, and have all of your contacts. You have your BMW messages, memos. Then your My Vehicle change many different settings here from your vehicle settings like the lighting, intelligent safety, steering wheel, vibration, driver attention control, your speed warning, you can set that on or off if you would like. You'll also find all the latest safety technologies on the 5 Series including automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert, but some of these safety technologies are optional. And we do have wireless charging inside of here too and many different iDrive settings you can change from the units, tone, notifications, pop-ups, 
software update. And you have any notifications too. But overall, this head unit is really easy to use. Very simple, and I love it. And I love how it's also a touchscreen too. And then you can also control it by the um, buttons in this dial right here. But overall, the iDrive system is one of the best in the business. Now for your safety technologies, if you press on this button right here, this is for your intelligent safety. And basically this is pretty much all your safety technologies and you could turn all of them on just by pressing on this or you could turn all of them off and then you could configure which individual one you want on or off if you like. And then you can also um, change the settings for like the front, front collision warning and then lane departure warning, all that good stuff. The Harman Kardon sound system also sounds fantastic in the 5 Series. It's been an integral part of my life, unfortunately and unfortunately. The fortunate part is I've got to know you. And some other cool features is that you'll find automatic high beams as well as rain sensing windshield wipers. Now as far as the way the 5 Series drives, like I said earlier in the video, the 5 Series is a little on the softer side of things. That's not necessarily a bad thing since they're trying to appeal to a wide variety of consumers including the older folks who like the mercedes-benz e-class and there's lots of people who flock to that vehicle as it is the sales king in this class and then they're also um, trying to appeal to people who go to the lexus gs but the ride quality is really smooth over rough road pavement and it's very compliant and subdued and it's also very quiet at highway speeds too but the handling isn't too bad on the 5 Series. I mean, you do have your different driver selectable modes, which is nice. You have your sports mode, which tightens up the steering and changes the throttle response. You also do have your comfort mode and your Eco Pro mode, which is, of course, the most fuel efficient setting. But it certainly isn't as good as it once was in former generations. Um, in terms of its handling and its steering, it doesn't feel as agile and doesn't feel as nimble. But you will find that the 5 Series does have a really good balance between decent ride comfort and decent handling here. But I wouldn't necessarily say it's the sports car of the mid-size luxury sedan class like how it once was. Now the 3 liter turbocharged 6 cylinder engine certainly provides enough power for the vehicle. And the fuel efficiency is what's really surprising, especially for how much power this vehicle has. But with either powertrain in the 5 Series, you will find that both powertrains, whether you get the turbocharged 4-cylinder or the turbocharged 6-cylinder, that they're reasonably fuel efficient and they provide a decent amount of power. The 8-speed automatic transmission also shifts fairly well. BMW is um, really familiar with these powertrains now. They've been using these powertrains for quite some time now. But they have improved upon them with the new generation 5 series here. And you also do have your automatic start-stop feature, which um, shuts the vehicle off or shuts the engine off when you come to a complete stop, which is one of the reasons why this vehicle earns decent fuel efficiency numbers. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and shut down the 5 series. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. You'll also find manual rear scent shades. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. You'll also find headrests that are adjustable for all three seats. Now back here in the 5 Series, there's a decent amount of legroom and headroom. Dual map pockets, rear air vents, and heated rear seats are also back here, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. And Rear center armrests with cup holders. And you have your LED map lights back here, as well as your ambient interior lighting. You can also get dual rear entertainment screens back here, which look pretty nice. But those are optional, of course. And you have a rear sunshade back there, too. All right. You also do have a hands-free power trunk lid. 
It's also a pretty nifty feature. I really love that feature. Uh, trunk space back here, not a whole lot of it, but the rear seats do fold down, which is nice. At least you do have that. And you can also activate your power trunk lid from the key fob. You also do have a full-on powered passenger seat with power recline, power lumbar, and power adjustable side bolsters. So with plenty of features available, it's fuel efficient and potent powertrains, and it's luxurious interior with impeccable build quality, the 2017 BMW 5 Series remains a competent choice among mid-size luxury sedans. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.